I've decided to make a YouTube video that looks at wireless antenna positioning and broadcast signal. I try to find different places on the internet to do this and they give you generic advice as far as pointing the antennas in different directions but don't give you specific advice as far as how to point them in different directions and whether it made a difference. So I decided that I would actually take this on myself. What do I have here is a uh, Edimax wireless router. I bought this because it was actually extremely cheap on the Thanksgiving Day sale and uh, this is the AC750. I will say this is a fantastic router. I paid about $20 for it on sale and I think it typically is on sale for about $50. I also have a top of the line ASUS router um, as well. And so I have two access points and this is my secondary access point. And I'll say this one was much easier to set up than my ASUS. It performs just as well for my single to three person house uh, as far as using a wireless access point. And as far as transfer speeds is identical to being wired and is identical to my ASUS router. So this is actually something I would highly recommend. Now what's nice about this um, ASUS router, sorry, the um, Edimax router is that it has three different antennas. The two on the outside is the 2.4 uh, uh, gigahertz and the center is the five. It also can do a lot more, but I'll let you check that on, on your own if you're at all interested. Um, so what I did is, here's a picture of my home in the three different positions. We started in where the wireless router is located is actually inside the home um, or by point A. I started there measuring a baseline point and um, measuring that on all three positions, sorry, all six positions, uh, to make sure that it was consistent across uh, every single test. The first two times I tested this, it was actually inside the cabinet. Here's a picture of that. And then I moved it to a higher ground to actually mount it on the wall. Now, the first to, to, in the cabinet, I changed the positions of the antennas. This is um, the unit itself. The first time I tested it, it actually had the three antennas going up like this. Um, this antenna is closest to the road. Uh, as you can see on the picture, and this one is towards the back of the uh, the yard by the trampoline in this picture. So the first time was up straight like this. Position A, I had a negative 40 decibels. As we moved on to position uh, B, which was the the, um, the edge about by the driveway, it decreased it to 81 um, decibels then went over to next to the garage, got 92, and then to the back of the yard and got 74. I then came back in and changed the positioning. Now I decided to change this one by the road down like this. And the reason why I changed it down was because that way it would actually have the broad side towards the road and be able to broadcast straight towards and have the maximum receiving, receiving um, ability that way. And then for this one, I turned it at an angle like this. And the reason why I did that is this would broadcast the broadest angle towards the, the uh, garage point. And then this one was left uh, straight up in the air. So as I moved around with this one, interesting enough, um, I had the same baseline point, negative 39, close to negative 40. It went down to 69, then over to 91. Then into the backyard, I didn't receive a signal whatsoever. Now, some ways that doesn't so surprise you. Um, as you're trying to maximize the garage, that also puts this end towards the back corner of my house to that. So it actually minimizes the receiving, receiving angle for that. However, this is only a couple inches away and should have picked it up very well. Is that a, a testing variation? I don't know. So I moved on to now mounting it up on the wall. Now you can see the picture here. Um, while it's only a couple feet more in the air, 
it actually made a big difference as far as, as far as getting away from electrical interference. So it's not number one out of the cabinet. Two, there's a, um, a network hard drive that's there, so that's power. Three, behind the cabinet has a power strip that has power and electrical interference. Four, there's a printer on top with, uh, with power. So it gets away from all of that. And um, so I wanted to see if it made a difference. I started off uh, by doing the kind of the baseline configuration of everything straight up. So I then made my way around the house again, starting with, with my baseline position. Again, negative 38, very close to 40. So it seems like everything was working properly. Went to out to the driveway, negative 69. Went to the, the garage, negative 91. Went to the backyard, negative 78. S oh, sorry, uh, 87. So it really seemed like everything was starting to plane off, and I didn't see much difference there. So I decided to do one more configuration. Up against the wall like this, towards the, um, this is the side that's uh, towards the road. Turned it down uh, uh, as this configuration, and out like this. The, here's a picture over it. So essentially it would be like this, up on the wall there. So you'll see the picture there, what it looks like up on the wall. Again, did my um, st standard test from standing right next to it. Um, got a negative 40, went to the garage, negative 69 to, sorry, that last person, I went to the driveway, negative six to, uh, 69, went to the uh, garage, this was a negative 89, and then to the backyard, a negative 91. Next, I decided to um, test it in just a little bit different example. Instead of having this curved like this against the wall, decided to go more of a 90 degree angle to that. And then this one, instead of kind of going to a 90 degree angle this way, decided to go more of the 45 degree angle and tilt it slightly. So it kind of looked like, it looked like about like this up on the wall. And again, went around the, around the house to um, my starting position, negative 40, to uh, the driveway, negative uh, 76, to the garage, negative 91, and um, and then to the backyard, negative uh, 88. So then to my, my last position was both to 45s, and then my five, five um, yeah, gigahertz to a 90. And again, we saw the same thing, negative 40 right next to it, uh, negative 68 by the driveway, negative 91 uh, by the garage, and then uh, negative 94 in the backyard. What's the takeaway from this? Well, um, what did I use to, to receive uh, the, the signal? I used a Samsung Note 5 uh, with a spec case around it that was held consistent to, throughout the entire time. My hand position uh, on the, that uh, was held position was held the same the entire time and used an app um, off of uh, Google Play to be able to measure uh, this in getting results. Um, while I had heard a lot of hype about exactly how the positioning should be and, and um, to maximize receiving performance, getting it up as high as possible in a way, with the Edimax router, it didn't make any difference really whatsoever. Um, I would say that the, there was two anomalies within the data. Um, the fir first was position one by the driveway that was an 81. I suspect if I did it again, I would probably get in, uh, right close to uh, 69, which is everything was else was. And then if I'd waited longer in um, at position two, I didn't receive a signal uh, in the backyard. Maybe I would have actually got a signal if I waited a little bit longer. Um, but everything else was exactly the same. So my takeaway from this is position your antennas, how they look good, and that's about it. Don't worry too much about getting it as high as possible and looking intrusive on the wall. And um, I would love to hear anybody's comments about this, and I would love to see anybody else do the same test to find out whether it makes a difference. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed.